Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanya at Side Gig Craft, and I have been trying some new things today. I have gotten these sprays. I've got, um, these are new to me, and I've just been playing a little bit. I've got a couple of Distress Oxide sprays from Tim Holtz from Ranger, and um, I got the Halloween Distress Mica Stains line. The six uh, Mica Stains, let me lay them this way. And these, these are the Halloween colors. I'm gonna get the Christmas too, you guys. They are gorgeous. I am having so much fun with these. Um, these have mica in them, as you can, sh well, I'll show you on the paper. But there's, um, this one is Bubbling Cauldron, Flickering Candle, uh, Crooked Broomstick, Hocus Pocus, Empty Tomb, and Jack, Jack-O-Lantern. So fun, fun colors. There's a Christmas line coming out with six more, and that's gonna be the full line of them, and they are a limited, a limited item, so I'm super excited. Um, but I've been playing with these sprays and watching some tutorials because I, well, I watched a couple tutorials and I thought, those things are gorgeous. I want to play. So I, this is my first play with the, not the, I didn't, the oxides I did not use on this, but these were these colors, the Distress Mica, Mica sprays. Look at that. Can you guys see the, the sparkle and shine on there? This is on regular copy paper, or copy paper, and I have to say this does rub off on here. I think it's the type of paper because I tried it on other paper and it did not. So I think copy paper isn't quite as porous as some of the others. So the mica does come off onto um, your fingers. My fingers have wax gilding on them. And I also did some rubber stamping on here, and I love how this turned out. I actually made a uh, card for my my uh, full deck challenge with these and this I just I love it it's just gorgeous I put the black lace on there but you can see the mica sprays underneath look at that purple how it blends you can see the greens and the other colors in, in it you see that I hope hopefully and um, I love it and I did some uh, stamping on there but see this one doesn't does that one come up I need to use a clean finger I don't have a clean finger <laughs> But um, yeah, so <clears throat> I'm having so much fun with it. I actually, before I started my video, I made a couple more. This is actually on watercolor paper. And look at that shine and gorgeousness. Look at the bright, beautiful colors. I did purple here at the top, and then I did the black here, and then I, I did it this way so that the color would run. I did purple, and then I did black, and sprayed it with water, and then I dried it, and then I turned it back over and then sprayed it with orange and let it run in this way. And I'm just loving it. I'm gonna use these for card backgrounds. So I'm kind of looking for some, a lot of different variation really. And so that's one. And then I did this one. Now I used the, the uh, oxides in this one too. And you can see more of a matte color, some um, thicker opaque colors in there. That's the oxides. Um, and then I used the, uh, the micas as well. So you can see the shine and how the colors blended in there. So, so cool. So I thought I would get on camera and play some more and let you guys see how they work. I don't, I'm not gonna explain how, how they work or why they work because I'm not fully understanding it. But um, if you go to Tim Holtz's channel, he does a fantastic job. I just wanna play. So um, let's do it. <laughs> One of the things, and I'll tell you a couple of the things he did, he did use these on both dry paper and wet paper and got different variations and different uh, results from them. So I'll kind of do that too and just kind of play. I'm learning how to use it, so it's all new to me. But watch, when I spray, I probably put way too much water on there. I'm gonna just kind of dab that back up. Um, when you get it, and I had actually had some on the paper, and now it's a little yellow, which is fine. I'm gonna use that color anyway. Um, this is the mica, the mica stain. You gotta shake it till the mica mixes in there, the mica powder. But watch what happens when this hits the paper. Boom. Look at it just kind of spread. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this color. You can just spread it. And then I'm gonna do it over here on the dry side. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna check my camera real quick and make sure you guys can see the dry side too. 
if I do the dry side, it's much more concentrated and it just kind of stays. Can you see the puddles in, the, in that? This one was with the water and it kind of spread. Move this over just a little. I think that'll be a better, there's a little bit more room there. All right, so that's kind of the difference. And let's see, let's use some green in there. Like I said, I'm, I'm looking for some different colored backgrounds and um, variations because I'm going to make some, I need to make thank you cards. I've got so many subscribers that entered my challenge for my 100 subbies and we're almost a two, we're three people away from our, from 200. And I want to make you guys some thank you cards to thank you for those that entered the challenge because I appreciate you so, so much. Let's put some purple in this one. And again, remember this is still wet with water and this is not. So you can see how the colors are mixing and not mixing in different places. Let's put more there. And then a fun thing to do is to pick this up and kind of let it run. Uh -huh, watch it run. It's kind of cool though, because it mixes. You kind of want to watch the colors you're mixing too, because you can get mud, you can get brown. It's turning brown down here, which is, it's fine. I'm looking for fall colors anyway, so I'm not too worried about it, but get some drips. Let those colors go. So messy. But you know me, I love my mess. Okay, now let's go ahead and start drying this. It looks really cool when you do it in layers because the colors, um, they, play, they play well together. I'm gonna dry it up. I want to get. I'm gonna go ahead and probably be getting more of the distress, the oxide sprays. I really love how they work together, and um, the colors are gorgeous. You don't want to leave this in, in one spot too long. I had some smoke coming off my paper earlier. It's probably not a good sign. You'll see some of the colors are more concentrated in, in some areas than others, which is very cool. A lot of variation. You can totally see the difference between the two sides. Now remember, this is the dry side where it was dry when I sprayed. This is the wet side. Look how these colors have blended really well. And then these are more splotchy. And it just kind of depends on what look you're looking for. Which is pretty cool, I think. So depending on what you're looking for, that's how you would apply. Now what, another thing you can do is spray some water on here. And it's going to actually move some of that and change it up a little bit kind of let's move some of that around you can see how it's lifted some of that up and it's going to kind of spread that or you can come in and dab it and you can get light water spots in there see how it picks up which is kind of cool. So you can do all kinds of fun things with this. So another product I'm learning about, isn't that cool? I want more, I want more. Tim's gonna take all my money all my money. All right, now you can see how there's water spots in there. It kind of looks a little more grungy, which is kind of fun. And I'm gonna put in some, I'm gonna put in some empty tomb in here and I'm gonna squirt really lightly so that it just kind of drips. 
oops, that wasn't quite what I meant to do. There we go. I'm getting more spurts than, than anything, aren't I? There we go, that's what I meant. I kind of want some Halloween kind of stuff look going on. Or fall, definitely fall. I don't like this one over here. I'm going to just kind of lift that. And I actually want to spray that with something else. Kind of want to cover it. I don't like it. I'm just going to go there. There we go. And let's put some, let's put some big drips of purple in here. I've got kind of the water spotted in there, so let's get some drips of purple. I can do some spurts there too. And maybe along the edge here. More than I wanted. That's okay. All right, and then we'll dry that. I have already filled up my scrapbook.com full of Tim Holtz stuff. <laughs> I'm going to have to decide which ones I really, really, really want this next paycheck. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all at once. It's got some really cool uh, die cuts that are coming out for Christmas. There is a... Uh, a retro stove coming out and I love 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 it um, my family is big on cooking and I just I can just see so many fun things to make with it so that is first on my list I'm very excited about that all right one thing I noticed this black does not like to dry very quickly before what I did is I just dabbed it and I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm just gonna add the purple too actually and I don't mind it it's gonna kind of dull it down a little bit which is fun which is fine I'm that's perfectly fine for me these are gonna be backgrounds anyway so it's okay I want I want texture I want um, depth I want interest on these it's not going to be the focal point they're going to be cut onto cards so each section I want to have um, some amazingness let's put one of these is brown right broomstick let's try this one up in here this yellow is really really bold We need some color, some interest in depth, right? Something different in there. Wipe some of this up. I'm making a big mess. This is, I love, you guys, when I got this glass uh, board here, $5 at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale, I'm so happy I found it. Look at that, it just cleans right up. Well, maybe not completely right there, but okay, let's try. Let's get this dried up. We'll move on to another one. And I may add some, um, I may add some rubber stamping to this. I'm not sure yet. But today I just wanted to play with the colors and make the background. I haven't totally designed these cards in my head yet. And I don't know if I'm going to show you before I, before I send them out what they're going to look like. 
because then what fun is opening it, right? But I definitely wanted to show you these fun, cool colors. And I know um, you can get the Halloween ones on Amazon. I did get them from Amazon. The Christmas, I don't, haven't seen them yet. I'm not, sure to, I'm not sure where to get the Christmas other than scrapbook.com just so far. Beautiful. I love it. I am so happy with these. Can't even tell ya. So happy with these. Really, really cool product. Have those because I don't want to stack them wet on the other one. All right. I love this. What do you guys think? Can you see the mica in there and all the shiny gloriness? Is that a word? I don't know. I kind of want to drizzle water on it again and get some water spots. I'm going to do it. Sometimes you should just well enough leave alone, but you know what? Sometimes if you feel like you should keep playing, keep playing dab this up. I do like the water spot look. We'll just pick up some of that. There we go. You can see it on my towel. Let's try it again. One more time. See if that had any effect on it. Lovely. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. There you go. All right, and I'll show you how I did the color blend too. Let, we're gonna try different colors this time. Last time I did purple and black and orange. This time, let's do more of a fall theme. Let's do, not those, let's do brown, green, and yellow. What do you think? Crooked broom, flickering candle, and bubbling cauldron. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the uh, Cricut broomstick in the middle. I think that'll be beautiful. All right, let's start just soaking the top here. We're just gonna squirt all the way down, make sure it's nice and wet. And then I'm gonna take the bubbling cauldron, look at the ink coming off my hands, and I'm gonna hold this up this way and I'm gonna spray all the way across. And I'm gonna spray heavy because I want it to drip. See how it's dripping down? That's what we want. Look how the different color variations come through on that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna tip it a little bit. I want colors to run to all sides. Just kind of vein out. You guys see how beautiful that is? Can you see the shimmer from the mica? I'm gonna spray a little bit more in here. A little bit more in here. And I'm even gonna add a little bit more water to make it move. It's okay if it goes all the way to the, down to the bottom. I kind of want it to. Okay. All right, and it's gonna start dripping down, pedaling at the bottom. I'm gonna just put a paper towel down there so I can kind of dab that edge. It's okay. Wow, look at those colors. I love that I sprayed that out of one bottle and look at the variation in the green. Isn't that amazing? Wow. All right, so while it's still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and use Cricut Broomstick in the middle. These colors are gonna blend and it's gonna drip. Look how they blended, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that, the green into the brown, wow. Beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. 
You guys know I love uh, green. Did you know I love brown too? <laughs> I really do. It's also one of my favorite colors. But you know, when it, it was funny as a kid, brown was one of my favorite colors, and everybody teased me. Like, why? Why can't brown be one of my favorite colors? Because you're a girl. You're supposed to like pink. Well, I did like pink, but I liked brown. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dry this because I want that to kind of stay where it's at. I don't want it to stay right where it's at. So if we if we dry it here, the color will stay until we wet it again. So let's kind of dry it. So what we got. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's stunning. I'm probably using way more of this spray than I need to, but I'm having fun. I might have to order more to make sure I have enough <laughs> through the year. Just beautiful. The mica has puddled up here a little bit, making it look almost blue in spots. But look at that variation in the green. It just amazes me. It's the same, it's the same stain, it's the same mica, different concentrations, I guess, because of the way it cools. But it's it's beautiful. Alright, now I'm gonna go. It's pretty dry. I'm gonna dab that little puddle I don't like. I'm gonna turn this paper over this way. Look at that, look at the green before I do anything to it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing how it's yellow green there and then it's a beautiful different green there. It's gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna turn it this way. This isn't bone dry, it's, it's still got some moisture to it. I mean, it's watercolor paper, so it's gonna stay kind of wet. But I'm gonna spray just the top here and let it run and um, I'll probably add some brown in the middle as well because it's already going to run because it's already wet. So let's get this yellow in here. What, what's this one? This one is the flickering candle. Look at the colors already doing their thing. Look at that. Wow. I may not need to add brown in there. I probably just added way too much. But wow, look at that. How it's just running. I'm gonna put a little more water. Oh, let's do it. Let's add it. So I want that brown to, to blend into both colors. And I really like how the yellow is going to actually go over the green and leave that mica on there, and it's gonna be um, prominent. It's not gonna be dominant, but it'll be prominent. You'll be able to see it really nicely. Look how the colors are blending on this side. Isn't that beautiful? Kind of dab this here. On the edge. Wow. Wowza. Wowza, wowza. Look at that. Woo! Love it. All right, let's dry it up. going to get the puddles mostly dry so we can see what they do. If 
Very cool. All right, so you can see, you can see, there's still a little puddle there, but you can see how the yellow, the brown, and the green, they all mixed. And actually, because I sprayed the brown last, it actually ran brown into the green, which is cool. But over here, where the yellow ran, and I didn't spray more brown, you can see it on top of the green, which is nice. But look at that, how it combined. <laughs> look at my hands, oops. All right, it's beautiful. I am so excited about this. Okay, now, do we wanna add anything to it or leave it alone? That's the hard question. And again, these are gonna be backgrounds for cards, so I may do something later with them as well. I think I'm gonna leave this one alone for now. I think that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna do something, you know, I've got this little leaf uh, die cut, I can use that, or I've got some other fun things that I can use. Um, so we'll see, not sure, but that's just um, amazing, hello. It's beautiful, I kinda wanna splash some black on there, but again, these are gonna be smaller pieces, so I don't want to, I don't wanna commit just yet. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I also told you about the oxide spray. So let's try that and see how that works in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this because it seems to work really nicely when it goes on with the water. And this is a speckled egg. And this one is vintage photo. I like using those. I like using those first. I don't think it matters. And this was this one was the crooked broomstick. Um, was there another brown one? Empty tomb is black. No. It's, okay, let's put this one on there. That's the one I was looking for. This is crooked broomstick. And I like just how they kind of work together. I'm gonna put a little more of this one on there. Oops. I said a little. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of swirl this around, let it drip, mix a little bit. It's really cool because the oxide sprays will leave more of a cloudy look to them. And they're a little more, oops, a little more opaque. I'm not controlling that very well, am I? This reminds me of coffee. Isn't that beautiful? We'll just run those colors, do their thing. And then I'm gonna spray it as well. And then we're gonna dry it. This watercolor paper is not my favorite. This is a the Canon X, Canon XL. It's not the best quality, but it's not the worst either. It's decent. It's okay. So I'm wondering how this would react on a different quality of um, of paper. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to do this right now. One of these days I'll experiment on that too. Let's see if it makes a difference. I'm going to go ahead and dab some of this up, which will, in fact, add another texture, another tone, another depth, more interest. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? 
You can just like spray anywhere. And you've got some amazing design. Look at that. There's some mica in there. There's some of the cloudiness from the, the oxide paints or sprays. Look at how beautiful it is. Some of the colors have run together. I kind of want to add, I'm going to add some of the, um, where's it at? Empty tomb. I just want to kind of spoop if I can, just a little bit. Oops. Maybe a little more than that. I think it's hitting my finger is what the problem is. There we go. I don't want big puddles, but that's what I got. It's gonna spread. I don't like that. do let's just make it spread it's gonna do it anyway look at that it's just running that's kind of cool I mean you can't really control what's gonna happen the colors are gonna do their own thing right all right cool beans let's do it let's dry it up we meant to do that It's kind of neat, the black actually went into that uh, speckled egg oxide and turned kind of a blue. Kind of I know this is like watching paint dry, sorry. <laughs> it kind of is. All right, I'm gonna get in here and dab up the rest of this because I can. And I like that look too. Look at that, it's so cool. Right, there's that one. What do you guys think about that one? That's pretty neat, yeah? I'm excited to make some things with these. All right, there's that one. Let's clean up this mess. This right here is an argument for a box to spray into, isn't it? But. It's not that hard to clean. So, okay. Oh, I have more. Well, that's okay. We're going to do one more together and then I'll do the others later on. All right. So here's what I want to do. As I'm looking at this one, I'm loving the way that the colors are blending. Absolutely loving this. Absolutely loving it. So what I'd like to do, I want to add more color. So I'm going to do yellow, orange, brown, green, and I think I'm gonna do purple at the bottom. So um, I just need to make sure I don't have mud. I think I'm gonna do purple last because that mixed with the other colors is gonna be where the problem might be. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Ready for this? All right, what did I say I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with the yellow on the top because I really, really, really love that yellow on the top. I don't think I'm going to add as much this time because I'm going to need all the colors to show. All right, so that'll be that. And my fingers are leaving a mess all over the paper, and I don't care. It's going to add to it. I should have probably used a baby wipe in between, but whatever. Okay, and then let's use the jack-o'-lantern after that. Remember, these are going to all slide, but...
I'm okay to leave a couple little gaps in there because it'll leave me more room to add color in, another color in. Let's kind of go that way too. I'll need some more. All right, let's let those colors run. I think I'm gonna run them this way too because started a little low so let's get those that orange back up into the yellow nice look at how it's running into there okay so there's that now I'm gonna do the brown and this is the broomstick crooked broomstick Loving that. Wow. You guys. You guys, you guys. This is so much fun. You guys better get you some. I'm having all the fun over here. 